Their relationship is a phenomenon. She's one of the biggest superstars in the world. Right in front of you, Taylor. Ten studio albums. I'm, I'm so happy, honestly, it's amazing. 12 Grammys, the most streamed female artist on Spotify. 11 number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100, including Blank Space. But I've got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name. Taylor Swift is global. She is colossal. She is a figure of female empowerment for young women and women who are not so young. She's won nearly every award out there, and she's currently on a sold out world tour that nearly broke the internet. She will make hundreds of millions of dollars from this tour, and then there's no telling how big the economic impact will be. We've never seen something like this. Travis Kelsey is one of the best in the NFL. Analysts largely consider him one of the greatest tight ends of all time. A two-time Super Bowl champ, eight-time Pro Bowler, and more recently, a podcast star. He co-hosts New Heights with his older brother, Jason. The number one sports podcast on Spotify right now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to New Heights. While rumors of the romance began over the summer, there have been a few big moments that fans have completely fixated on. The first in late September, when Taylor attended her first Chiefs game. Taylor Swift in the house. Travis Kelsey says, oh, baby, it's a big day for the Chiefs. And then there was the lyric change and the kiss seen around the world at her concert in Argentina. I all my friends to the sun, she changes the lyrics at the end of her song to clearly talk about Travis Kelsey. And then when Travis realizes what she said, he reacts in a really big way. And then he kind of like covers his face the way that you do when somebody that you like a lot is acknowledging you and is telling the world that you're somebody that's important in their life right now. Travis explained what went through his head when he heard it on a recent episode of New Heights. How does it feel to officially be uh, the guy on the Chiefs? <laughs> you mean karma? Karma, that's uh, right. <laughs> yeah, no, I had no clue that, uh, well, I might have had a little bit of a clue, but um, definitely when I heard it come out of her mouth, uh, still shocked me. And uh, Yeah, you could tell in the video. I was like, it was pretty. Oh, sh she really just said that. You were that. so All shocked, right. you left Scott hanging. <sighs> Scott's over here looking for a high five. Yeah, Mr. Swift, I apologize, big guy. Then, post-show, fans spotted Taylor running into Travis's arms. Their first show of PBA with the sold-out crowd cheering them on. In some respects, their relationship has brought together two of the biggest, most passionate groups in the country. Swifties and NFL fans, even while some think it's a little overkill. I think it's too much. When you're here to watch a game and everybody's looking in their binoculars seeing where she's at, no. She must become a Chiefs fan. Yeah. Kansas City welcomes you, Taylor. <laughs> Show up! And their relationship has even had an economic impact. When she goes to Kansas City, the entire city benefits. People come into the city just to sort of be in that environment. Taylor's also been spending time with the full Kelsey squad. My colleague, Will Reeve, sat down with Mama Kelsey. Could you ever have imagined that you yourself, Donna Kelsey, would be so famous? No, not without them, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, it, I think it's just one of those things in life that just somehow things happen and then exponentially they just grow. And this year has just been one week after another after another and it just seems like it's just ever gonna stop. What is it about the Kelsey family that has kind of the nation fallen in love? I'm telling you, if you knew them both, you would understand. They are just the most real, down to earth, fun loving, completely different guys that you ever want to meet. Like Travis is Mr. Social. He's the one who's always going to be like, hey. And now Taylor's part of an epic group of women that date or marry pro athletes. That includes women like Simone Biles, Haley Steinfeld, Sierra, Alex Earl, Kerry Washington, and yes, Giselle Bundchen. If you're not in an FOYP, you don't understand it. 
There's a lot that goes down with the whole experience. It's, it's a wild ride. Get ready with me to film. So Joan and I are headed to New York in the morning. We are so excited. Shannon Johnson knows what it's like to have intense public interest in her love life. Jawan has played the last two games of season. He was hurt for literally four games. He is She's now. married to Jawan Johnson, Greetings. a tight end, just like Travis, on the New Orleans Saints. She shares a lot of their life on TikTok. OK, guys, we're going to play a game. Ready? Where more than 3 million fans follow along. Johnson is what's known in sports culture as a WAG, a term for the wives and girlfriends of pro athletes. Their lives have gained so much interest that WAGs have become the subject of their own programs. Some consider the term offensive, while others embrace it. There's a reality show by the same name. And the hit CW show, The Game, showing all the drama, jealousy, and fighting people think comes with dating an athlete. You look me in the face right now and tell me you didn't sleep with her. What do you think of the term wags? I immediately think of the show. I think it's so funny. But I, again, like, I really don't think that it's, like, a real portrayal of most NFL couples. So that's not my truth. <laughs> but super entertaining. Has there been any drama with you and any other wives or girlfriends of players? Okay, so I literally hear about drama all the time, but there's no drama on this team. It's very strange. Thank goodness. Kansas City seems to be drama free too, with Taylor becoming fast friends with Brittany Mahomes, wife of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. The two appear to have a secret handshake captured during one of the Chiefs games. Taylor even invited Brittany to join her celebrity girl gang for a night out on the town and reportedly hosted a Chiefs watch party at her NYC apartment. That was so cute. I'm going to New York next week and I'm like, gosh, I am going to go all the places that they went. Shannon was a college athlete too, a gymnast with Olympic dreams. And now she has two other jobs, her day job as a content creator and a newer job, mom to four month old Jador. What are some of those stereotypes that are not true? Uh, people think that I'm a gold digger. People think that we are just on social media and it's fake. We don't really like each other. Um, people always say stuff like that. We gotta talk about Travis and Taylor. Have you been keeping up with all the Of drama? course I have. A lot of people still think that it's like a PR thing or See, it's but that's fake. what I'm saying. Like everyone always has like, come on. What would you say I to I totally people? don't think it's fake. I think it's real. Are you kidding? He wouldn't go to Argentina. I mean, maybe, but I, <laughs> I wouldn't go to Argentina for Juan if it was fake. Let me tell you. <laughs> Shannon says that Taylor and Travis's romance is all very real and that their relationship is turning the idea of a wag totally on its head. At this point, it's like women empowerment because everyone's like, who's Travis? Like Taylor's boyfriend. It's like, Sorry, who is the husband? Like, the girls are in power now, which I'm obsessed with. And then, like, them treating them right, because I think that's another stereotype, too. People always think, oh, he's an NFL player. He's going to, you know, cheat on you, or he's going to treat you bad, or, you know, whatever. You can get it all. Like, he can be a good man and play football. It's possible, I promise. Taylor and Travis, at just 33 and 34, are already conquering it all. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are both stars in their own right. I mean, her reach is global, his reach is America. Next up for Travis, he's eyeing a third Super Bowl ring. You'll see how much you can save. And raking in millions from his multiple endorsement deals. <sighs> Taylor is reveling in the success of the Eras Tour film and begins the next leg of her massive international tour. But I think that people are intrigued enough to see what happens with this, especially because it feels like this is a different relationship for Taylor. And after the football season, where is Travis going to be? Is he going to be by her side at all of those dates? Our thanks to Rhiannon, and you can stream the full episode of The Pop Star and the NFL Player on Hulu right now.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.